A warm greeting. Today is Thursday, September 28, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it is 7 in the morning local time in the Eastern Caribbean, where we continue to monitor Tropical Storm Philippe and Invest 91. As I mentioned in last night's video, both systems are beginning to interact with each other. This leaves us with a very complicated forecast. However, during the early morning hours today, specialized trajectory models and global models have a better idea of what the result of this interaction might be. The chances of seeing the Fujiwara effect occurring over the weekend have increased. Later on, I will provide an explanation of what the Fujiwara effect is and how it could impact the trajectory of Tropical Storm Philippe. It is important to mention once again that the forecast for systems that are so close is quite complicated. The forecast I will be discussing in this video is subject to significant changes, and it is necessary for those in the northeastern Caribbean to continue monitoring the evolution of Tropical Storm Philippe. Over the last 24 hours, Tropical Storm Philippe has been struggling against strong westerly wind shear. In fact, the circulation has remained mostly exposed to the left of the strongest thunderstorm activity. This morning, we can see that the center of circulation is located approximately in this area at lower levels of the atmosphere, and the mid-level circulation is displaced to the east of the center of circulation. These are signs that Tropical Storm Philippe is having problems with its structure due to the wind shear and dry air that has started to enter the center of circulation. One very important thing to consider is that it is not forecasted for Tropical Storm Philippe to strengthen into a significant cyclone when it passes near the northeastern Caribbean. What is still being forecasted for the northeastern Caribbean Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic is a rain event between Sunday and Tuesday of next week. In this visible satellite animation, we can also see the rotation of Invest 91, which continues with a 90% chance of becoming a tropical depression. The opportunity to become Tropical Storm Rena as it moves northwest and interacts with Tropical Storm Philippe will depend precisely on how this interaction unfolds. Yesterday, I mentioned that one of these two systems would absorb the circulation of the other. In the latest projections from global models, it seems to suggest that the remnants or the circulation of Tropical Storm Philippe will ultimately absorb the future Tropical Storm Rena during the Fujiwara process. The Fujiwara effect occurs when two tropical cyclones approach each other closely, and in general, this causes the one farther to the west to make a southwestward turn, while the one located farther to the right or east makes a northwestward turn. In this case, we would be talking about the circulation of Tropical Storm Philippe and the circulation of Invest 91. When the Fujiwara effect occurs, two scenarios are possible. The first is that after this interaction, each tropical cyclone could follow its own trajectory, while the other scenario is where both circulations converge into a common center of circulation. This morning, it appears that Tropical Storm Philippe would be absorbing the circulation of Invest 91, which may become Tropical Storm Rena. As I mentioned in last night's video, in this interaction, if Tropical Storm Philippe ends up absorbing the circulation of Invest 91, it favors an initial southwestward trajectory, but then it probably causes the resulting circulation to move north, staying away from the Caribbean region. The models now favor that Tropical Storm Philippe will be the one to absorb Invest 91. We are now beginning to see that after the Fujiwara effect, some models start to strengthen the circulation of Tropical Storm Philippe, but with a complete northward movement, passing well away from the Caribbean. We are not sure if this will be the final scenario. For example, some models still predict that Tropical Storm Philippe could remain very weak or dissipate. In that case, it could have a trajectory closer to the north of the Lesser Antilles due to the Fujiwara effect with Invest 91. The important thing is that the National Hurricane Center in the 5 a.m. Bulletin has adjusted the initial trajectory to the southwest during the Fujiwara effect and now marks a trajectory to the northwest-north, where Tropical Storm Philippe will probably lose its tropical cyclone characteristics. It could then potentially strengthen as it moves north over open Atlantic waters. Notice that now Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic are outside the cone of uncertainty. However, the National Hurricane Center continues to emphasize that the forecast for Tropical Storm Philippe is one of high uncertainty, and additional changes could occur in the coming days. Again, at this time, there is no risk of a major tropical cyclone impact in the northeastern Caribbean. For now, we can remain calm and vigilant only to this interaction. Regarding the forecast for Invest 91, you can see that with the Fujiwara interaction, there is generally a northwestern movement as the circulation is absorbed by Tropical Storm Philippe. It will likely start to weaken, and by early next week, it will converge with Tropical Storm Philippe. If this scenario occurs, Invest 91 would basically merge with Tropical Storm Philippe and then maintain that northward trajectory. A clearer way to see this possible interaction is with the global models. This morning, they finally have a consensus on what might be happening. 
Here we have the GFS model on the left showing the circulation of Tropical Storm Philippe and on the right is Invest 91. You can see how the model continues to forecast the Fujiwara effect in the coming days, where Tropical Storm Philippe initially moves west-southwest and then makes a turn to the north, while the circulation of Invest 91 moves northwest. In the end, the GFS model predicts that Tropical Storm Philippe could strengthen into a hurricane and absorb Invest 91, but very importantly, with a trajectory far from the Caribbean region. The European model also coincides with this forecast. Initially, it had the remnants of Tropical Storm Philippe moving southwest over or near Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. But in the most recent runs, we have seen a forecast similar to the GFS model. Here we have the circulation of Tropical Storm Philippe and Invest 91, and you can see that the Fujiwara effect is forecasted, with a result very similar to the GFS model. For the weekend, the remnants of the circulation of Tropical Storm Philippe could approach the islands north of the Lesser Antilles and eventually converge into a single circulation that moves north without reaching Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. Finally, it is good news that we at least have a consensus between the two best models, although they still differ slightly in the intensity as this cyclone moves over the Atlantic. The German model also agrees with this forecast. You can see the circulation of Tropical Storm Philippe moving over the arc of the Lesser Antilles and Invest 91. In the long term, the circulation of Tropical Storm Philippe dominates and moves northward. Also, notice that under this scenario, Philippe could get closer to the northeastern Caribbean. This is why it is important for us to remain attentive to this possibility in case it gets a bit closer than anticipated according to the National Hurricane Center. In conclusion, if you live in the northeastern Caribbean Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic, it seems we have good news because, according to the models, it appears that the circulation of Tropical Storm Philippe will interact with Invest 91, probably moving north into the Atlantic without reaching the northeastern Caribbean. However, we still have a scenario, which at the moment is less likely, where the remnants of Tropical Storm Philippe could move more to the west, but without becoming a tropical cyclone, likely resulting in a rainy event across the northeastern Caribbean for the weekend and the beginning of next week. Well, I will continue to monitor the evolution of both disturbances during the day. In the afternoon or evening, I will record a new video to discuss any changes that may arise in this forecast. I hope everyone has an excellent day. Until then, take care.